as a girl, you need girlfriends because guys and girls can't be friends. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Boogie Blue Boogie Pod. Pod. I'm Hannah. I am your host. And today we have on my sister, Kara, for a very special episode. We cry a lot from laughing. <laughs> you do. I cry a lot from laughing. <laughs> um, and if you guys are new here, just want to say hi, because uh, we are featured in the Apple Podcasts Women's History Month 2023 collection. And so Ooh. shout out to the Apple Podcast team for setting us up you guys can find us on the little browse page we are in the a new era category yes. which is perfect because i'd be in my new era <laughs> category <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and please 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 check out the show we are on all social media platforms you can find us on instagram and tiktok at Podcast. we post little clips there and fun little uh it's LA fun. tings and then on Twitter I'm kind of funny at Purgogi Podcast. Really funny. I think this podcast is all about you know the people sharing stories and at the end of the and day their visuals. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, just laughing. Um, I think you know growing up Asian American you know a lot of our childhoods could have been a little bit more serious in ways having to study and all that but we just wanted to bring a little bit of levity to our lives and yeah so, yeah please check out this episode and all of our episodes yeah but today we have on my sister Kara Ooh. on the podcast for a second time I would like to hear a little bit of background I know that you're like a bruh girl you know what I mean like you only have <laughs> guy friends so like what, not like, anymore <laughs> <laughs> now i have two girlfriends only two friends you only girlfriends. Have, you only have two girlfriends yeah and then three friends total oh <laughs> no <laughs> it's so funny like i'm realizing in these like last couple days just like literally how opposite we are like i think i have i'm a girl's a lot girl. of friends i have, well no i'm a girl's girl <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah and i feel like I do have guy friends, but it's not like like deep friendships, I yeah. would say. But like, yeah. is yours a little bit different? Well, yeah, I think I like in college, the group that I came into my dance team with was all guys. Oh, yeah. And so naturally, I just became friends with them. And then so I was just like, kind of like the broad girl, I guess. But now that has changed. <laughs> or I realized that you as a girl, you need girlfriends because guys and girls can't be friends. Oh, OK. That's a bold statement. Well, I never believed that before. And I and I feel like there's exceptions to it. But like when Harry met Sally, it's like so true. Oh, it's so true. OK, so like in your personal experience, like have you had friendships like broken because one party started liking the other? Yeah, like I feel. Yeah. OK, can you, can you <laughs> elaborate? Or it's just when you're friends with someone, it's because you want to surround yourself like with those people and like the qualities of that person is like is like what you enjoy. Right. Right. As company. OK. And so naturally, if you're friends as a guy and a girl, if you guys are both straight, like why? Like there's not really a boundary there, because like once you're friends and you're spending a lot of time with each other, mm -hmm. then it's like, OK, there's so much room for like feelings to be there. Right. Like it's hard to differentiate like friend and like liking them because like the qualities you have in your friends are the qualities you're going to have in your significant other or what you would like in your significant other i would think huh right well like for me i think like with one of my like best friends my standard for like if i think like oh i think i like this person is like do i want to spend time with them or would i rather spend it with her you know what i mean like i think like spending time with that potential significant other has to be higher than the, the time I, yeah like just a friend yeah it's like i have to like oh, that's like interesting. you know like like them as much as I like her. Right, right, right. But are you saying that you have to like the guy, like you're, if you're straight and it, like you, you have to like the guy more than you like, like your best friend because yeah, that's like what you're I have saying? To, like I have to want to spend more time with them. Because, oh, okay. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm kind of like, I treat them equally a little bit. Oh, okay. Like I have a best friend and she, she kind of takes priority, I feel like, over my boyfriend. Or is that kind of what you're saying? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. that is no, that is what I'm saying. Okay, like, yeah. as of right now. Oh, but I've always thought that that was wrong. That you prioritize like your best friend over your relationship. Really, you think that's wrong? Well, I I think of it as like um, you know that book by Bell Hooks, like the different types of love uh-huh, uh-huh. it's like it's kind of questioning why we think that's wrong like why oh. we think like prioritizing platonic like a friendship r- relationship should be lower than your romantic relationship of course you're like closer and more, more vulnerable on different levels with each other because it's a different type of love but at the same time it's still like it's still it's still amor <laughs> it's still amor <laughs> Right, no, exactly. like isn't, isn't there? Yeah, like the I don't I don't know what the different words are for, I but there's like fucking read the book, and yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's, it's in my Libby. I like placed a hold on it, but <laughs> I've been waiting like eight weeks. I just listen to reviews on it, oh. and I'm like, I read it, I read it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, huh? Because yeah, I think in my head, I think like the way that I've consumed media and like been exposed to the different types of love, it's always been like, I should be prioritizing romantic love over every, almost every other kind. I think romantic and familial are probably a bit more equal. Yeah. But then like friendship love, like I think I've always been like, oh yeah, I should want to spend more time with my significant other than I want to want with my friends. Yeah. No, Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's like what, most right people think but i think i've learned from my friends ditching like their friends because they get into a relationship yeah, 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 yeah. has taught me that i don't think that's the case female friendships i think i've grown to realize like how how important they are because like they will be with you through everything i think that there's like a deeper understanding with like my female friends of just like being a complex human being and like even like in the types of conversations we have it's like oh like i i can like joke around with you and like be fun and whatever and we can go out and have a good time but then also at the end of the day like if i'm having a bad time in life or i need advice or i just need you to be real with me i think a lot of times like i I notice that my female friends are able to kind of like ride those waves yeah because guys don't understand they're little dee 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 dee. they're just like different they're just so different yeah and so i mean i remember like freshman sophomore year you only had guy friends right it was exclusively yeah. guy friends in college bad idea well, okay, <laughs> just no, kidding no, that was that, fun but. it was really fun right like yeah. i think you had a blast but i remember our mom had said to you like, that i need girlfriends yeah, like i think my dad our dad too yeah yeah like they were very adamant about like you making girlfriends right yeah and so like i guess like placing yourself back to then kara like what do you think was going on in your head when they were like you need to make girlfriends like, I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you know? Yeah. And it's the classic, like, ne- me today, Kara is like, fuck. <laughs> 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 they were right. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Um, no, but I feel like back then it was, I mean, I don't regret anything because, like, they're still my friends today, even though, like, a lot of them are not, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nearly as close with them. Uh-huh. I have one that I'm still besties with, but I do wish that I made girlfriends like when they told me to. Like mm. now, now that I think about it, but you know, I guess you live and you learn. Yeah, you Shoot. <laughs> No, uh, you don't have that many friends, but okay. I guess in terms of like the reasons behind like why you no longer have a majority of your guy friends, like did they get into relationships? Is that what happened? Yes, all of them. Except Nicholas. <laughs> Sorry, is that why? Is that why you guys are still close? <laughs> so you and that one friend. <laughs> Well, no. Um, most of them have gotten into relationships, and then some of them, it's kind of like, uh, like you go through that. I mean, okay. I remember how I said there's exceptions to like the girls and guys can't be friends thing. I think if you go through that little awkward moment of being of someone on either side being like, oh, I think I have feelings for you, and the other being like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> we're just friends, and then you let it get awkward and you kind of talk it out and you kind of just let time pass, and then you can be friends after that, knowing that you guys have passed that a little bit. No, that to- no, that totally makes sense because I think I've had like similar experiences where I always think that there is a point where 
both parties consider always yeah especially I, men they're crazy you know, yeah yeah and so they always consider and then right in my personal experience it's been like oh i don't feel that way but then yeah it's awkward you let time pass yeah for me it was like we're gonna let a few years pass yeah and then, <laughs> i'm in that right now <laughs> oh you're you're in the passing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're in that phase right now? Well, no. A lot of it has passed. But a lot of them are in relationships, which is like... Yeah, another thing. Um, Okay, so then I have a question for you. Um, You said that you want to make sure that you don't cross boundaries. Yeah. Um, Like, like, can you explain a little bit more? Yeah, it's like, okay, as a girl, you would know. There are so many things that we have to think about when we're fucking, like, just talking to a guy. Uh-huh. Okay, like, set like set the scene. Like, like we're, are Ooh, we at a, at a club? We're at a club! Okay. We're at General Lee's. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got a few drinks in you, and then, you know, like, you come up, there's a guy, like, a friend, you know? And you guys are fine, but you guys are, you know, it's late. You have drinks, you're at a club, and then you start talking... And then in my mind, I'm like, okay, we're passing like two minutes of talking. Now I feel like I need to cut this off or else you're going to think I'm like, I'm doing like, I'm feeling some type of way when I'm not. Right. And I I think like a lot of girls just like maybe think like that. No, I I think I agree with you. Like, I think there are times. Okay. Like, I remember there was a time. (laughs) at <laughs> general lease <laughs> of course of course um, this is this is way back when but um like there was a guy we like just like struck up a conversation it was super casual right yeah. but then obviously in my head i'm like oh he's he's kind of cute and then he's responding back to me right like keeping the conversation going yeah. asking me questions yeah i think we had passed probably like the five minute mark at that point and so like it's been a minute right like five minutes talking at a club when there's music bumping you guys are making out no we're n- <laughs> <laughs> like that no i'm saying like that point, at you're, that point you're, you're already basing, making out yeah exactly because <laughs> you're having to ignore everything that's going five minutes five minutes <laughs> five whole minutes that's two songs probably three songs if it's a good dj you know yeah, what i mean yeah and so we're talking, right? And then he goes, are you in a relationship? And I was like, oh, no, like, I'm single, whatever, whatever. And I was like, what about you? And he goes, oh, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah, I also have a baby. <laughs> hmm. And so right in my head, we're making out. Right. And so I was super confused. So I think as a as a girl i'm very conscious of the time that i'm putting in spending like talking to people no, exactly you know in those settings like, right I think, of course like every setting is different yeah and, like all the situations change but like dude if we're ignoring everyone else around us i'm not talking to my friends you're not talking to your friends then like or your baby or your, <laughs> or also, your wife so like why are you out without your baby right and without your wife yeah 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 <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, right, I'm so right, fucking right. confused. <laughs> and so, right, we've talked about, in terms of boundaries, not talking to someone, like a stranger at the club for too long. Um, or, or even just a friend. Even a friend? Know. Yeah, I was talking about, like, a friend. Oh, even a friend? <laughs> <laughs> like a guy, like a guy. Or, like, um, a guy friend. And yeah like a guy acquaintance maybe yeah a guy acquaintance and you're like in a friend group and you're like there i don't know i feel like maybe it's just me overthinking everything oh because everyone that talks loves to you loves me you. <laughs> which is not not true no 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 i think it's just my fear because i've had a lot of guy friends in the past and then i'm i get in trouble for like leading them on when all i was doing was like just in being in the friend group like i was just like being friends with them wait what did they like what like you- i i just had like people being like oh like that's so messed up of you like you were definitely like there was something happening like you were leading me on for so long but i'm like what and so i think it's just like me not making like making sure that i don't do that to you know oh. like i don't know where the boundary is of like being too nice where to the point where they start getting mixed like signals so i just try to cut it off earlier oh yeah well 
in your eyes like i assume like you weren't treating them any differently no it was literally just like asking about you know what people say people say i laugh too much and then it makes them feel funny (laughs) (laughs) and so so (laughs) i I, if a guy (laughs) thinks they're funny then they're like oh she's (laughs) I've gotten that like twice, and so maybe maybe that's it. Wait, you know what's really funny though? What? If I laugh a lot and I think you're funny, it's like (laughs) 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 Well, no, no, yeah, (laughs) because you're we're we're both into like funny guys, yeah, right, exactly. Like anytime there's a joke, yeah, yeah. yeah. But (laughs) there's there's a difference where I'm like crying laughing yeah. and then i fall in love with the guy or i'm like i'm just being like i'm just gig i don't know yeah you giggle yeah i think you're bit. a giggly person <laughs> <laughs> you do give me a little like giggle here and there you know so so like maybe that's why i like you <laughs> and so have you like recovered from those friendships like you went through the awkward thing and the whole thing some I mean, it just goes through an awkward phase. It's kind of like one of those where you can just laugh at it later. Oh, yeah. Um, And now we're great. But then the ones that I have lost, I just feel like they got in relationships, which I feel like guys are more okay with kind of like (laughs) disappearing once. Because you know how guys are like, yeah, like you got a girlfriend. Like, Like, go off. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go to war. (laughs) I will see see you in a couple years, you know? But then girls are like, oh my like, like you, what the fuck you need the you need to spend literally the exact amount of time as you did before you got this boyfriend right or else like that's not okay right whereas like guys are different i think right no, they are i think that's just a consequence of being friends with guys then mm. i guess like on your end like what in terms of boundaries like do you think is like okay and not okay like when you're in a relationship right because currently you are in a relationship which you revealed yeah (laughs) (laughs) like have you like learned to like set boundaries with guys or like what are those boundaries more so um well i would say that both me and my boyfriend are very understanding like we don't really like we just trust each other so like when it comes to hanging out with like my guy friends or stuff like he he's okay with it but of course there are boundaries like i guess an example would be like eating one-on-one with a guy friend yeah like do you like do you, is that okay it depends on the guy i think oh and like the if my boyfriend like knows knows the guy like if he's met him yeah um and then there are times where i will hang out with a guy friend because i want to like play tennis and he's the only person who plays tennis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like none of my girlfriends play tennis. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be playing with a guy. And then after naturally, you're just going to go eat. Like that's fine. Right. Because we went because to go play tennis. Because <laughs> of the activity. Yeah. Like I'm meeting up with him because tennis brings us together. And then and then we like catch up on life. And then. Right. Yeah. And then you go home. No, we eat and then we go home. Oh, sorry. You eat and then you go home. But the eating is okay. Because I think in my friends' lives, let's say. Yeah. Like, they definitely have, like, agreements within their relationship of you cannot have a one-on-one meal with a person. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, really? And it's not even, <laughs> like, oh, like, we met in college. It's, like, I think, like, kind of, like, childhood friends as well. Like, what? I need to be there. No, really? Yeah. And well, so, what do you feel about that? How do you feel well, about that? Well, because I have, I'm very platonic with all my guy friendships. Like, I think, like, right, there have been multiple times where, like, my friends will be like, oh, Hannah, you would never date so-and-so. And I'm like, that's disgusting. Like, that is, like, actually gross. Like, mm. I'm gonna, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Yeah. And so... In my head, I've always been like, I don't fucking care, right? Like, or my my boyfriend shouldn't care. But then it's interesting because I definitely have like a double standard. Because <laughs> I remember you wouldn't let him, or, or you wouldn't want that for him. The thing is, is like I would I would be like, oh yeah, that's fine. But then in the back of my head, I'm like, who's this bitch? You know what I mean? Oh, and so like, there's definitely a double standard. I see. Because also, I think at that time, I didn't know her. I had never met her. But was it was it his like old friend? Uh-huh. Okay. So 
Would you, okay, okay, can I ask this? Yeah. If you were going out to eat with like your old friend, yeah. would you would you almost be upset that he's not a little bit like like angry? No. That you would do that? No. I think I would be more upset if he got upset. Oh, okay. So it's like literally a double standard. A do- okay. Yeah, like I literally, it's okay for me to do it, but you, you're you not can't allowed do to. It. Yeah. And so I think a big part of like me not expressing to him at that time, like, oh, I don't know about her. Yeah. Was because like I knew I couldn't like tell him no. And then. Because you didn't want to come off like crazy. Or, and and oh, demand and then, him to say yes to when I wanted to have dinners with my guy friends. Right. But maybe he mean? wouldn't care. Maybe he's different than you and it's like, yeah, that's fine. Oh, interesting. But then you're maybe not okay with that. Because that, that comes down to like jealousy. Yeah, like, jealousy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. what your standard of that is. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I did meet her. I ended up meeting her. I didn't really like her. Did you not like her because of the situation? No, I like actually like did not like As her. As a person? Yeah, I okay. was like, something's off. No, oh, okay, something's got off. it. Um, but okay, so eating one-on-one. Like I'm, I'm okay with that, and I think he's okay with that, so I just do it. Okay. Well, I'm like, I, I'm in fr- I'm still friends with a lot of guys, and I still hang out with a lot of guys, like one on one, and I think he understands that. Right. And he's met everyone. He's met everyone, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like, yeah. And I feel like because, like, we both lived in the dance world, it's very it's like just like normal to be like have a lot of like guy friends yeah. and then vice versa like for guys to have a lot of girlfriends that's true yeah but then it's also true in the dance world that like a lot of people end up dating right there's a lot of incest uh, like yeah there's for a sure. lot of incest just homie hopping yep but it's okay because everyone's homies that's a flaw each other. yeah but it's fucking weird that's what, like that sentence right there is weird <laughs> Well, I, I was I was inqu- inquiring. <laughs> there was a question mark oh. at the end of that sentence. I'm confirming that and also confirming that it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not my sentence specifically, but the dance world <laughs> in general. <laughs> That's a whole different topic, though. Like, the dance world is kind of weird. Okay. Or the community, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, from the outside, it seems really fun. So. Uh, I mean, it is fun, but with a fun community comes, like, <laughs> it's some flaws. drama. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of like other boundaries. Oh, uh, what do you think about like going to parties without your significant other? Like going going to the club with like a new group of friends or like you're mm. a friend of a friends. That's tough because I think like right, some people don't like to go out. If your significant other doesn't like to go out, but like let's say you want to, I wouldn't want to like force someone to come out with me, but I do think if significant others are quote allowed, then I think there should be an invite extended every single time. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's one of those things where like I want my significant other to have similar interests as me so I don't run into those issues. Oh. You know what I mean? Like I love to go out and like I always feel like a little burdened when like I know so and so doesn't want to go like come out and so it's like oh i'll invite a different friend out you know what i mean oh i see and so i feel like for me like i would want them to i would want them there would i be okay i would not be okay if my (laughs) significant other went to a party without me oh yeah i would literally not be okay because i'd like to go out oh yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, you're right you know what i mean like if if it's like a birth if it's like someone's fucking birthday party and it's like very intimate i don't want him to be like can my girlfriend come because i think that's also fucking annoying so you so you wouldn't get so he's going to a birthday party it's maybe like 15 20 people it's not like that intimate i want he doesn't invite you are you okay i want him to tell me i want him to explain to me oh like sorry like i would definitely like want you to be there but like i think this is just gonna be like our whatever friend group like you know what i mean i think you know what's interesting i think i'd get a little upset if he explained that to me and didn't extend an invite oh really like because i i want i want to meet his friends Uh uh-huh and so i kind of want to like especially if it's like more intimate maybe i would want to go to that rather than something like Huge. huge but i guess maybe that's a difference with it with us wait no that's true though like why I don't know. I just feel like when people don't introduce their significant others to their friends, it's a little weird and that shows something because I've done that to like a boyfriend because I was fucking embarrassed. <laughs> 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 
like the one thing I brought him to was your fucking birthday party and he still couldn't do it. <laughs> he really couldn't do he it. He to one person and of course it was that one person. Right, right. Yeah. But like, oh, I also think that's a huge red flag. Right? I think it's so huge. Yeah. Like, if you aren't introducing me to your friends, what is the issue? Yeah. Because there is an issue. Right. Yeah. And it's scary. I hate it. I hate doing that initial, like, oh, fuck, here it is. Like, yeah, same. Because they may not, like, your friends may not vibe with your significant other. Which ever. is, like, the worst fucking feeling ever. Oh. Because <laughs> then you're like, I don't fuck I'm, with you anymore. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> No, and like I literally have no opinions of myself. Like after my friends like say something, I'm I like, agree. oh no. I agree. I also think that with you, if you don't like my significant other, I'm breaking up with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So that's also like kind of a difficult situation because I always think that with family, like you and mom and dad, uh-huh. but you guys are gonna be the hardest on that person. Exactly. <laughs> so you have to pass the hardest test. I know, but I feel like um, you're always gonna like kind of find every flaw in him no matter what and so like that is true which i think is good because i feel like if they don't care if you guys don't care then it's like oh he's a definite no-go oh yeah that's true that's true yeah i don't know i just expect that my family's never gonna like the guy i'm I'm with and then like maybe maybe a couple years like later it'll like you know i don't know huh i don't know i think I, i have a different view on that i think i'm more optimistic than you i think there is somebody out there that will woo all of you. Oh, yeah. All of our family. Okay. Like, off the bat. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think it should take a couple years, but... Like, mom, mo- like, LA grandma, mom's mom and dad didn't like dad. Right. But then, I think mom is different in that she, like, knows... What she wants. Yeah. Herself more. Not me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> where like other people's op- opinions like i weigh them so fucking heavily which also i think yeah it could be to a fault oh my god like, are you kidding me you know? i feel like one of the realizations we've had in the past year was that we have a hard time forming our own opinions and our own thoughts because our parents did it for us their whole life yes <laughs> and but i will say i think prefrontal cortex it's been fully formed now for me. Yeah. And I think it's become a lot easier. Okay. Like a lot easier. Yes. Oh, I still have hope. Yeah, I know you do have hope. I think 25, 26, 25. It's at 25, I yeah. think. So. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you some questions. Yeah, ask me some questions. You know, I was going to prep some and then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> how much, how much do you think that you should tell your significant other? Like, do you, are you one of those that think that you should tell everything to them? Like, be a full open book? Or you kind of conceal some things? I think what you don't know will not kill you. I personally have learned my lesson. I don't want to know shit. Oh, you don't want to know shit. I don't want to know shit. And so, in the same way, I don't think that I should spill everything to them. But, like, the stuff that, like, you didn't know, like, why, and, like, you didn't want to know. Uh Uh-huh. Like, what, 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 It was, like, kind of, like... Was it just turn-offs? Because those you want to know, right? It wasn't turn-offs. It was more so, like... I, I'm thinking of this in the context of, like, his past relationships. Like, I didn't, oh, yeah. didn't want to know how long you dated for. I didn't want to know, like, that... Th- but this was my bad. He didn't tell me this part. He doesn't know that I know this. Um, that he wrote, like, an entire, like, album for her. How do you know that, then? I Googled him. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> it was right there. You're like, I don't want to know. <laughs> it was right there. It was right there. And so I think, like, in a way, it's like self preservation. Yeah. Of like, don't give me any information. But I also think it would be weird for me to be like, don't, don't tell, tell me anything. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, I think that comes off as insecure in yeah. a way. Like, yeah. or it's just like, why? Like, that's fucking weird. You know? Or I, mean? I guess you just know a little bit more about them if they do share all of that. Then you know, okay. Yeah. That's not my style. But. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then I, there was also somebody who he had asked me, like, oh, what's your ideal type? And then I answered whatever. And then. Was it like not him at all? <laughs> no, I think I well, oh, it was pretty okay. like general things. Like it was like very personality based. Okay. And then I asked him back, what's your ideal type? And he was like, oh, I want someone who's confident. And that, uh, 
I understand you of course want someone that's confident yeah but I think that made it so that I got super in my head and made it so that <laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> open up to him at all like I felt like I couldn't come to him with like anything that I was struggling with Oh, because you didn't want to, you don't want to see your flaws because you wanted to be confident. Exactly. You know? And so I think in that way, I was like, fuck, I didn't need to fucking know that. Well, okay. I feel like maybe that was also like, because you want a guy who's confident, right? And like, that's kind of something you would, you could say. Yeah, that is true. But I think it was like me, like just feeling like I couldn't, I couldn't be like, damn, I had a shitty day. Like, I don't know. (laughs) Like it's like damn. You like, know what you could have done? Been like, <laughs> been like, just say all your flaws, but really confidently. Fucking <laughs> in like a crazy confident <laughs> way. That's a <laughs> like just everything kind of just to confuse him, <laughs> like how confident you are in your flaws. <laughs> oh, I'm not self aware. <laughs> No, exactly. It's like, I love to spend money that I don't have. <laughs> I also am really bad at geography. As we were Kansases, I don't know. Are you bad at geography? Yeah, I don't know where any of the states are. Are you directionally are? challenged? No, not at all. I know where everything is. That's weird. Except for the states. <laughs> That's really weird. I feel like you'd be good at states, though. Oh, I loved states exactly. in elementary school. Exactly. Well, it's because we played all those games with the states. <laughs> yeah. Why do we focus so much on states? I don't know. Like, who needs to know where <laughs> states are? You're fine. <laughs> like, I'd rather be directionally no, no, you gifted. Know what, no, you know what's more embarrassing is not knowing where a country is. I don't fuck it. We never did countries. We only did states. No, that's what I mean. It's like somebody was like, oh so-and-so and i was like yeah in africa and they were like that's in south america <laughs> see that's when i that's when i'm like oh i gotta be <laughs> like, like crying guys. Yeah. like no. if someone starts talking about countries i'm immediately like oh whoa <laughs> No, and then me during state tag. <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta be. <laughs> I was, if like you're hanging out with someone, they ask you like what street and what street is something on. <laughs> I'm like I gotta be. <laughs> like, I hate that question. Well, you should just be like, I don't fucking know. no. That is one of my. Do I'm, I'm, I'm exposing this. Google. With, <laughs> no, that is one of my biggest like. <laughs> I am the most self-conscious about my lack of direction. <laughs> <laughs> it is something that I'll never come to terms with and I'll never, like, fully grasp, like... It's okay. And, like, you could admit it. You don't have to be confident about it. <laughs> you don't have to avoid it. And just leave. Like, damn. No, she I... Got, does she have a bladder issue? I do when it comes to directions. <laughs> No, you know what was the most embarrassing is major current events or major past events. Someone went, oh, it's da 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 Chernobyl, and I just nod really hard. <laughs> That's all it takes. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I gotta admit it. I don't know what Chernobyl is. Somebody... Say it one more time. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Yeah, Chernobyl. It's like a major... I don't know. I can't <laughs> I never looked it up that it's far. Like, it's like a major... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think a lot of people died, though. Uh, it was a nuclear accident that occurred <laughs> on 26 April 1986. How are you... Like... How are you... Like... Yeah, but Should like, we know that? Yeah, we should definitely know that. All right. Yeah. Hey, okay, now I know it was a major nuclear Let's accident... Let's not put that in there. ...that occurred on 1986. <laughs> not put that in what about how both of us didn't know how to spell restaurant until like, i know i still don't <laughs> i don't i just put in rest and then you put in an a and then a u somewhere and then i hope that my autocorrect just takes that's it that's literally how you spell it what rest a u rant see but that rant i'm like where is there a u <laughs> rant <laughs> Okay, this is just <laughs> words you can't spell. Go. <laughs> Definitely. Really. 
<laughs> there's only eyes. <laughs> there's so, there's so, <laughs> Where? Why? Why can't I don't you know? How do you spell it? I, my autocorrect is constantly like defiantly. <laughs> you sing an A in there? <laughs> That's why I'm you see an A in deaf. Why, that's why I say deaf a lot. Whenever I say <laughs> deaf, oh yeah, deaf. Because <laughs> the autocorrect didn't work. So instead of so the autocorrect goes to defiantly, and then you just go backspace, backspace, backspace until deaf, and you never, <laughs> you never figure it out. <laughs> All that's right. literally what happens on a very daily basis because I use the word definitely a lot. Oh, you definitely do. I do. I don't think I've seen you say deaf, but <laughs> that's because the autocorrect worked. <laughs> You're, she's fully crying. <laughs> I'm really crying, guys. Wait, uh, why are you crying so much? I don't. Uh, well, I cried before this recording. Because of Leo? Because I think our dog is going to die. He is getting doggy dementia. Sorry, this is too fun. Is walking around in circles a sign of doggy dementia? (laughs) (laughs) Answer in the comments below. Let us know. Let us know what words you can't spell. (laughs) That's a good one. Yeah, I actually want to know. Okay, so yeah, saying things confidently. (laughs) Yes. That's where we came from. (laughs) Wait, where was that from too? You asked me, oh, like how much do I want to know? Oh yes! Yeah, oh yeah, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just uh, don't tell me. I I'm trying not to remember anything either. But you, so you won't tell them everything either. No, no. I believe I totally believe in white lies. Would you get mad? He still hung out with a girl that he had a thing with for like two two years. Ooh. <laughs> and it just like went back and forth, like, and then it took them like three years to finally be friends again, and now they're like best friends. Damn, that's hard. And he never told you about it. You asked him, and then he told you. You see, I almost feel like as you grow up, there's more of an understanding of I don't need to know everything. You know what I mean? And so like... But you asked him in this scenario. Fuck. I think I would get upset. Yeah. And so it's kind of like... So then there's no solution. (laughs) I think that... I I literally think the solution is you have to be smart enough to not hurt yourself. Hurt your own feelings. You know what I mean? Like by like me you asking, have to, yeah, yeah. It's I'm gonna my feelings are gonna get hurt. I'm hurting my own feelings, right? And so I have to be smart enough to be like, don't fucking do that. Personally, right? Like I think some people are like, oh, like you should have gotten in front of it. Like you should have just like you know told him before he had to ask you, and then like it caused See, a fight. See, that's that's a huge thing too. But I'm like, no, but like yeah, I totally get you. I don't think you should have to tell them. Yeah, I'd be like, just so you know, these are the people I had a thing with that you'll be seeing. Yeah. Like, that's weird. Yeah. Because even I, like, I have a couple of friends who, like, they had broken up for a couple years, like, went off to, like, see other people, maybe, and then they're back together. But when they got back together, the deal was, I don't want to know about anything that happened in between. And so I think that is... That's so hard. I think It's really that's hard. That's good self-control. But I think it's so fucking smart. Cause, yeah. Because, like, what's... What's, what's good? What's going to... Yeah. And you guys went on a break for a reason, and yeah. they are able to do whatever they want during exactly, that break. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And now they're good. And so, I don't know. Even, like, all the ex talk, it's like, what's Why? the point? Yeah. I think there's, like, a level of trust that you have to have with your significant other to be like, okay, I trust you that you guys are just really good for yeah so i don't want to know too much what about you um i'm the type i'm kind of nosy so i feel like i, I want to know but i don't tell you're do you not hurt your own feelings when you like ask i don't get much so i think he also doesn't tell <laughs> that's I'm, good. I'm kind of asking but he doesn't really tell that's good yeah because i'm sure it's the same way back like he'll kind of ask or does he not ask at all like rarely yeah well i think that's all the questions i have for you okay sick (laughs) well thank you guys so much for joining us for this episode of prugogi pod you can give kara a follow at kara with a k sky with an e double underscore on instagram yes and you can give me a follow follow. at hannah Hannah. without an h and with only one (laughs) Cat, Cat with, with the K, K and three, three T's. T's. <laughs>
I don't know why we do this to ourselves. <laughs> it's it's really made my life like difficult. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But your yours is catchy, so it's yeah. good. Because yeah. people are like Hannah Cat. No, people literally call me Hannah Cat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well no one calls me Kara Sky. Oh, that's lame. Anyways. Um, anyways. <laughs> and then you can give Prugugi Pod a follow Fuck at like. Prugugi.podcast on Instagram and TikTok, Twitter at Prugugi Podcast, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, we just hit a thousand subs. So oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, congrats. congrats! Um, and I will reiterate this for you guys, but the podcast is featured in Apple Podcasts 2023 mm-hmm. Women's History Month collection. Mm-hmm. So please go, woman. Yeah. Uh, please, you know, let us know what you thought about the episode and how you're celebrating Women's History Month, and maybe like what you want from the future of Bulgogi Pod. Yeah, because you guys are m- as much a part of this as I am, as everyone in my life is. Because I'm constantly asking you guys for advice. Yes. But yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.